It's an age-old rule that the rich move with their kind. This rule will likely not change anytime soon. Even today, the chasm between the poor and the rich continues to grow wider. So where do the wealthy hang out? And what happens inside the secret clubs of the ultra-rich? Let's find out. Number 1. The Yellowstone Club the Yellowstone Club is a private ski and golf resort located in the Rocky Mountains in Montana, USA. It is known for catering to the ultra-wealthy, with homes and properties costing tens of millions of dollars. The club was founded in 1999 by billionaire Tim Blixith and his ex-wife Edra Blixith. With less than a thousand members all over the world, the activities of this group are kept confidential. But we know a few things. It is located on a large expanse of land, measuring close to 100,000 acres and has its private ski resort with 2,700 acres of skiable terrain, 18 ski lifts, and over 100 ski runs. In addition to that, there's an exquisite championship golf course that Tom Weiskopf designed. Becoming a member of the club entails you having really deep pockets. First, you'd need to join a long waiting list to purchase a piece of property at the private resort. Single-room condos are as expensive as three to five million dollars, while larger apartments are in the tens of millions range. Afterward, you'd have to pay an initiation fee of $400,000 and annual membership fees of $60,000. The club has been a popular destination for celebrities, business leaders, and politicians who find it to be a luxurious abode for comfortable living and relaxation. Imagine if you never had to carry your skis yourself, because there is always someone on the ground to help you with that. And you you could randomly walk into a sugar shack for free ramen and hot chocolate. Sounds amazing, right? Number 2. White's Club White's Club is a historic private members club located in St. James's, London. It was founded in 1693 by Italian immigrant Francesco Bianco, also known as Francis White. Originally established as a chocolate house, White's Club became a popular venue for wealthy and influential members of society, including politicians, aristocrats, and royalty. The club has a reputation for being one of the most exclusive and traditional clubs in London, and the oldest, with top-tier members like Prince Charles, Prince William, and even the Queen, who was the only female member. Membership to Whites is by invitation only and is limited to around 500 members. Reports indicate that there have been protests by some members of the club to adjust the rules and allow women in to no avail. In fact, Prime Minister David Cameron reportedly resigned from the club in 2008 for this reason. The club is known for its strict dress code and conservative atmosphere. Whites Club has a long standing association with the British royal family, with several members of the monarchy having been patrons or members of the club over the years. The club has also been associated with gambling and betting, with a famous betting book being kept at the club since the 18th century. In addition to its reputation as a social club, White's has also been known for its political influence. The club has had several members who were prominent politicians or influential figures in British society. They are not so popular with the public, though, as many people feel that they are simply snobbish elitists who were once spoiled brats sent to Oxford or Cambridge by their parents. Number 3. The Soho House the Soho House is a private members club with locations around the world, including London, New York, Los Angeles, and Hong Kong. The club was founded in London in 1995 by Nick Jones, and it has since become known for its upscale amenities and exclusive atmosphere. Clubs like White's cannot cater for a certain demographic class of the wealthy, which are the young and more liberal ones. This is one of the reasons why Soho House was founded. It caters to a creative and media-focused crowd, with members including actors, musicians, musicians, artists, and entrepreneurs. The club provides a variety of luxury amenities, including private dining rooms, rooftop pools, spa facilities, cinemas, and event spaces. Membership to the Soho House is by application only and is subject to a review process. They don't want suits, ties, or fellows from the corporate world. Cool people only, please. And they are indeed cool, because despite their exclusivity, you can still have the opportunity to dine with Soho House at any of its hotels and restaurants 
restaurants around the world. As long as you can afford it, you're welcome. They have a reputation for stylish decor and an emphasis on local culture and cuisine. The Soho House has become a popular destination for those in the media and creative industries, offering a space for members to socialize, network, and relax in a luxurious setting. The club continues to expand, with new locations planned in cities around the world. Number 4. The Carnegie Club the Carnegie Club is a private member's club, located in the former steel magnate Andrew Carnegie's mansion in New York City. The club was founded in 1898 by Andrew Carnegie and is known for its exclusive and elegant atmosphere. Skibo Castle is where they call home. It was established due to a passion for the game of golf, played in a serene, captivating environment, with luxury for the upper class and their families. The club provides members with access to various luxury amenities, including a private cigar lounge, a grand library, a dining room, and a bar. This is the perfect place for the family-centered elite, who need a place to spend time with their family. It is children-friendly, with a variety of games and activities, such as clay pigeon shooting, zorbing, archery, bicycle riding, and even mountain hikes. Here, the rich can get playful, get sweaty, and be as down-to-earth as possible. With over 8,000 acres of land, the Carnegie Club is known for its historical significance and continues to pay homage to the legacy of of Andrew Carnegie, a prominent industrialist and philanthropist. In addition to its luxurious amenities and historical significance, the Carnegie Club is also known for its exceptional service and attention to detail. The club provides members with a personalized and exclusive experience, catering to their individual needs and preferences. Number 5. Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club The Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club is a private members club. Located in Santa Barbara, California, the club was founded in 1911 and is known for its world-class polo facilities and events. It offers members access to various amenities, including polo fields, tennis courts, swimming pools, and fitness facilities. The club also hosts a variety of events throughout the year, including polo tournaments, charity events, and social gatherings. Polo has always been known to be a sport of the wealthy, and the SBPRC takes that to a whole new level, with high-class facilities and a well-organized six-month polo season. Membership to the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club is exclusive and limited to a select group of individuals who are passionate about polo and equestrian sports. The club has a reputation for being a social hub for the wealthy and influential members of society, with members including celebrities, business leaders, and politicians. In addition to its polo facilities and events, the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club is known for its luxurious clubhouse and dining facilities. The clubhouse offers stunning views of the polo fields and provides members with a comfortable and elegant space to relax and socialize. Number 6. The Cirque Entre Alley the Cercle Entre is a private members club. Located in Paris, France, the club was founded in 1917 by a group of Allied officers during World War I and is known for its elegant and prestigious atmosphere. It provides members access to various amenities, including dining rooms and event spaces. The club is also known for its extensive wine cellar, which houses a collection of rare and vintage wines. Membership to the Cercle Entre is exclusive and limited to a select group of individuals who are recommended by current members and approved by the club's board of directors. The club has a reputation for being a social hub for wealthy and influential members of French society, including politicians, business leaders, and cultural figures. In addition to its luxurious amenities and social events, the Cercle Entre is also known for its commitment to promoting cultural exchange and international understanding, which was the basis for its founding. The club hosts various events and conferences throughout the year, focusing on topics such as politics, Politics, economics, and the arts. Over a century after its establishment, the club continues to be a significant cultural institution in France, promoting cultural exchange and fostering relationships among its members. Number 7. The Groucho Club the Groucho Club is a private members club. Located in the Soho neighborhood of London, England, the club was founded in 1985 and is named after comedian Groucho Marx. The club is known for its relaxed and bohemian atmosphere, catering to members who work in the arts, media,
media and creative industries. It provides members access to various amenities, including bars, dining areas, event spaces, snooker rooms, and even bedrooms for members and guests. Membership to the Groucho Club is exclusive and limited to those who are actively engaged in the creative industries, such as actors, writers, musicians, and filmmakers, thus fetching it a reputation for being a social hub for the creative community, providing members with a space to relax, network, and socialize with like-minded individuals. In addition to its amenities and social events, the Groucho Club is also known for its commitment to supporting emerging talent in the arts and media industries. The club provides various resources and opportunities to help members advance their careers, including workshops, mentoring programs, and funding initiatives. In 2010, they went ahead to launch the Groucho Award for outstanding individuals who have made a mark in their fields. The winner is awarded £10,000, a lifetime membership to the club, and a sculpture. Number 8. The Club of Rome The Club of Rome is a global think tank and organization composed of scientists, economists, business leaders, and politicians from around the world. It was founded in 1968 by Aurelio Pace, an Italian industrialist, and Alexander King, a Scottish scientist, to address global challenges related to economic growth, environmental sustainability, and social welfare. The club is known for its influential reports and publications on global issues, including the Limits to Growth in 1972, which examined the implications of exponential economic growth and resource consumption on the environment and human well-being. The report generated widespread debate and influenced environmental policymaking around the world. The Club of Rome continues to conduct research and advocate for sustainable and equitable solutions to global challenges, including climate change, poverty, and resource depletion. The organization also promotes dialogue and collaboration among different sectors and stakeholders, intending to achieve more integrated and systemic approaches to global issues. They published the largely critiqued report, The Limits to Growth, in 1972. Membership is by invitation only and limited to individuals who have significantly contributed to the organization's mission and goals. The club holds regular meetings and events around the world, bringing together its members and other experts to discuss and explore solutions to global challenges. Number 9. The Bohemian Club the Bohemian Club is a private men's club based in San Francisco, California. It was founded in 1872 by a group of journalists, artists, and musicians who sought a space to socialize and exchange ideas. The club is known for its annual summer encampment at the Bohemian Grove, a 2,700-acre private campground in Monterio, California. The encampment is an exclusive and secretive event attended by members of the club and invited guests, including prominent figures in business, politics, and the arts. The Bohemian Grove encampment is famous for its elaborate rituals and ceremonies, including a symbolic cremation of care ceremony that involves a mock sacrifice of a human effigy. The encampment is also known for its lakeside talks, where influential speakers address the attendees on various topics, from politics and business to science and the arts. Membership to the Bohemian Club is by invitation only and is limited to men who are prominent in their fields and have demonstrated a commitment to the arts and culture. The club provides members access to various amenities, including dining rooms, bars, and recreational facilities. The Bohemian Club has been criticized for its secrecy, exclusivity, and the controversial nature of some of its rituals and ceremonies. However, its members maintain that the club serves as a space for creative and intellectual exchange, fostering a sense of camaraderie and community among its members. Hmm, what do you think? Number 10. The Royal Automobile Club the Royal Automobile Club, RAC, is a private members club based in London, England. It was founded in 1897 by a group of motoring enthusiasts to promote the development of the automobile industry and improve road conditions in the United Kingdom. The Royal Automobile Club is known for its rich history, heritage, and association with the automobile industry. Membership to the RAC is exclusive and is limited to those who share a passion for motoring and the automotive industry. Members benefit in several ways including special motoring services, breakdown assistance, route planning, and vehicle inspections. It is also known for its motorsport involvement, sponsoring various racing events and competitions. The club has a long history of supporting and promoting British motorsport, including the development of the Silverstone Circuit, which has been home to the British Grand Prix since 1948. There are two clubhouses under the establishment, one in London and the second at Woodcote Park. These locations provide members access to various amenities, including 
restaurants, bars, a gym, a swimming pool, and a range of leisure activities. Number 11. The Club at the Ivy the Club at the Ivy is a private club based in London, England. It was founded in 2008 as an extension of the Ivy Restaurant, which has been a popular dining destination in London since the 1920s. The Club at the Ivy is known for its stylish decor and exclusive atmosphere, attracting a membership base of business professionals, creatives, and celebrities. It provides members with access to various amenities, including a restaurant, bars, private dining rooms, a screening room, and a roof terrace. Membership is by invitation only and limited to those deemed influential and respected in their field. The club is also known for its events and networking opportunities, hosting regular talks, performances, and social gatherings. The club's location is in the heart of London's West End, making it a popular destination for those looking to mix business with pleasure. Number 12. The Battery the Battery Club brings together the wealthy from the world of tech. It is based in San Francisco, California, and was founded in 2013 by a group of tech entrepreneurs and venture capitalists to create a space for networking and socializing among the city's elite. The club is known for its luxurious amenities and exclusive atmosphere, attracting a membership base of tech industry leaders, investors, and cultural influencers. With a yearly fee of about $2,400, members are given access to various amenities, including restaurants, bars, Bars, a library, a spa, a gym, and private event spaces. Membership to the Battery Club is by invitation only, and limited to those deemed influential and respected in their field. There's a strict no-photos policy, and the member list is kept secret. The Battery Club is known for its exclusive events related to computer programming and new technologies, hosting regular talks, book signings, performances, and cultural experiences. It may interest you to know that, even though this is a tech-centered group, members have to do away with their gadgets at 6 p.m. Number 13. The Core Club The Core Club is based in New York City. It was founded in 2005 by entrepreneur Jenny Enterprise to create a space for networking and socializing among the city's elite. The New York Times describes it as a portal to power. It seems to bridge the gap between the seemingly archaic nature of pre-existing elite clubs, introducing a touch of modernity and innovation. The Core Club is known for its luxurious amenities and exclusive atmosphere, attracting a membership base of business leaders, investors, and cultural influencers. The club provides members with access to various amenities, including restaurants, bars, a screening room, a gym, and private event spaces. Membership to the core club comes at a $50,000 registration fee and a yearly membership fee of $17,000. The core club is also known for its innovative events, such as film screenings, concerts, art exhibitions, interactive discussions, and stimulating discourse. As of 2022, there were only 1,500 members, including notable people like Sean Combs, also known as Diddy, designer Kenneth Cole, and Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz. Number 14. The Aberdeen Marina Club this one takes us to the heart of Hong Kong. The Aberdeen Marina Club was established in 1989 by the Hong Kong Jockey Club to create a space for leisure and relaxation among the city's elite. The Aberdeen Marina Club is known for its luxurious amenities and exclusive atmosphere, attracting a membership base of business leaders, investors, and cultural influencers. The club provides members access to various amenities, including restaurants, bars, a wine cellar, a gym, a swimming pool, and private event spaces. Here, Dining is taken to a whole new level with dry-aged and wet-aged meat cuts and special cocktails. Membership fees are incredibly high, starting from upwards of $3 million. However, before bringing out your wad of cash, you'd have to write an application letter first and then wait for an invitation. The club's location on the waterfront in the Aberdeen district of Hong Kong makes it a perfect location to enjoy the city's natural beauty while socializing with other leaders in business and the arts. Number 15. Google Can Camp for Billionaires Google Camp for Billionaires, also known as the Google Summer Camp, is a private, invitation-only event that takes place annually at the Verdura Resort in Sicily, Italy. It is hosted by Google co-founders Larry Page and Sergey Brin. It is attended by some of the world's wealthiest and most influential people, including business leaders, politicians, and celebrities. The purpose of Google Camp is to provide a space for attendees to network and discuss issues related to technology, innovation, and philanthropy. The event features a 
a series of talks, workshops, and social activities, and is known for its luxurious accommodations, gourmet meals, and celebrity performances. It is considered to be one of the most exclusive and high-profile gatherings in the world, with only a select few invited each year. Attendees are typically required to arrive by private jet or yacht, and the event is heavily guarded to ensure privacy and security. Despite its exclusivity, Google Camp has come under criticism for its perceived elitism and lack of transparency. Some have questioned the event's legitimacy and criticized the attendees for not doing enough to address social and environmental issues. Number 16. The Hurlingham Club The Hurlingham Club, Fulham, London, was founded in 1869 as a social and sporting club for the English upper class, and has since become one of London's most prestigious private clubs. It is known for its exclusive atmosphere and luxurious amenities, including tennis and croquet courts, a golf course, a swimming pool, and several dining options. The club also hosts various social events and activities throughout the year, including concerts, theater performances, and exhibitions. Membership to the Hurlingham Club is currently nearly impossible. To get on board, you'd have to get someone in the club to propose your entry and a second person to support the motion. Children of existing members are also given priority over others. In years prior, they had as much as a 30-year wait list, but it has been shut down indefinitely due to ridiculously high demand. It is unknown when next it will be opened, but certainly not anytime soon. Number 17. Chicago Yacht Club The Chicago Yacht Club is one of the oldest and most prestigious yacht clubs in the United States. It was founded in 1875 and is located in Chicago, Illinois, Monroe Harbor, and Belmont Harbor. The club is known for its sailing and racing programs and hosts several regattas and races throughout the year, including the Chicago Yacht Club Race to Mackinac, one of the world's longest freshwater races. The club also offers a range of social events and activities, including formal dinners, dances, and concerts. Membership to the Chicago Yacht Club is held in high esteem, as it has a long and storied history, with many notable members over the years. Its membership base includes about 1,400 people, some of whom are notable Olympic medalists and boaters. The club is also known for its impressive facilities, which include several dining options, a swimming pool, a fitness center, and a sailing school. Number 18. San Diego Yacht Club The San Diego Yacht Club SDYC, is a private yacht club located in San Diego, California, USA. Founded in 1886, it is one of the oldest and most prestigious yacht clubs in the United States and has a rich history of sailing and racing. The San Diego Yacht Club is located in a beautiful waterfront location on San Diego Bay and has a marina that can accommodate over 600 boats. The club is known for its sailing and racing programs and hosts several regattas and races throughout the year, including the prestigious America's Cup Yacht Race in 1988, 1992, and 1995. It also hosts one of the country's oldest and largest junior sailing programs, focused on racing, swimming, and boating. In addition to its sailing and racing programs, the San Diego Yacht Club offers a range of social events and activities, including formal dinners, dances, and concerts. And that's it on the secret, but not so secret, clubs of the ultra wealthy. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more fascinating videos.